Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Gaming here, and I am back with some more of the Napoleonic Wars mod. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy this when I did it before, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a really neat mod, um, so I'm excited to bring you guys some more of it. Uh, today we're on a new map that was created. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, a Frontlines map, actually it's meant for multiplayer, but we're using it in the editor today. Um, and we have a French sort of like, I guess, river defense, if you want to call that a river, it's more of a stream, um, against the uh, United Kingdom. Alright, so let's just go over the French defenses real quick. Um, we've got sort of like a small um, front guard here, just, you know, sort of chilling there in, in preparation. Um, they're going to be the first line, um, and uh, so they're... They're kind of expendable, just way up there. Um, then we've got just two random guys here. I don't know why I put them there. Um, back here, we have sort of our first major defense up on this hilltop, which I think looks really cool, really well made uh, by whoever created the map. Um, we have uh, just a, a long row of uh, French soldiers along these uh, log fortifications. Of course, we have a lot of uh, uh, banner holders in, uh, in the map because I think they look really cool standing behind the men. Um, then down here we've also got um, a nice little uh, squad of men down here with a another bander. Standard bearer. Um, I'll turn him that way. I love all the little detail, like the little crates, all that stuff I think is really neat. Um, Alright, so then uh, we move back here to sort of our second line of defense, um, which is a bit more scattered, a bit more sort of guerrilla tactic-y. Um, We've got French along this wall. Then we also have um, some French in this wooded area over here. And we also have uh, some on this wall. And uh, a couple more back here. Uh, a little bit more of guerrilla tactics, um, less sort of standardized. Uh, then back here we have um, sort of a similar uh, setup along this wall. Uh, groups of two. Um, they're really just to slow the enemy down, I guess. Um, and uh, up until this point, it's really just trying to take out as many as possible. Um, I'm, I couldn't decide how many British I needed, so um, I thought we'd be able to uh, spawn a few more in if required. Because um, I think at, at this moment the French outnumbered the British, but um, we might need uh, just a few more British to make it interesting to at least get to the last line um, and then if they fail at the last line then I guess the French win um, but the last line is definitely the sort of major defense point um, it is a long row of um, crates and sandbags all strewn together um, my dogs barking in the background and uh, standard bearers flapping in the wind, um, flags flapping in the wind, the standard bears aren't flapping in the wind themselves, um, and I think this is going to be really cool to see, uh, I'm excited, sorry my voice is a little, um, uh, sort of just done today, <laughs> I did a lot of talking today, I had like, I had two presentations in school, which kind of sucked, they were long, one was 15 minutes, the other was like 10, um, and it was sort of just straight talking, which sucks, of course, uh, so, Let's uh, let's go ahead and get this shindig started. Um, I'll be controlling the British, but I'll try and do as little controlling as possible. Uh, so I thought for uh, sort of just getting up to the bridge, um, we would send uh, four units forward, and uh, or let's just do three, and they're gonna go ahead and move forward in order to. Uh, take out the sort of like outpost across the bridge. Uh, let's go back to normal speed and uh, let's watch this. I really like this mod. Um, I think one problem is that uh, the defenders are going to have a hard time because they have just really crappy accuracy. Like, look at that. Um, I don't think they hit a single um, one of them. And of course, the attackers are going to have a lot more people massed together, which I think is going to definitely help them. Um, help the attackers, I mean, um, try and get some kills. And, uh, the reload time as well, so these, these sort of attack and defend missions could take a long time. I know these guys would normally, um, 
be attacking in line formation, but it's just way too difficult to have everyone attacking in line formation in the, um, in Star Wars, or not Star Wars, Men of War. God, I've been playing way too much of the Star Wars one. Ooh, first kill! <laughs> um, well, you really sniped him there. Poor soul. Poor chap. Oh, okay. Um, actually, have any of the, uh, the Brits died yet? Nope. Not quite yet. The closer they get, the easier it's going to be to uh, take them out. Looks like these guys are charging forward a little bit. Let's um, let's go ahead and try and get this little melee here. Fixed bayonets. Oh, that guy's actually reloading. Fixed bayonets in charge. Excellent. Bloody good. Uh, the little French at this outpost are slowly, slowly getting down. Um, of course, uh, the, um, the attackers will, of course, have the advantage of having more concentrated fire and, uh, sort of line fire, but the defenders, of course, will be firing into just a mass of bodies, uh, which will be their advantage. So it sort of evens out, I suppose. Um, the officers don't actually have pistols, which I think is interesting. Um, I don't know if pistols are in the game. Um, musket pistols, of course, so they're not great. Um, but we just went and beat the crap out of the rest of the outpost. Just so we could, uh, move along here. Oh, it looks like one, uh, member of the United Kingdom Army has, uh, has perished here. He might have been the only one, actually. Um, let's check and see. Yeah, he's the only one. Um... But the French outpost has now sent word to the rest of the defenders that um, the British are coming, oh, like uh, Paul Revere would say in, you know, Revolutionary War, whatever. <laughs> All right, so let's send our, our group of three forward. Uh, I suppose they're sort of like the scouting group um, who sadly have been charged with moving forward and trying to eliminate some of the defenders off the bat. Um, no deaths on either, either side, um, which is, uh, oh, there we go, there's a death right there, one of the French got shot off of their, um, their rampart. I feel so regal when I do, you know, 1700s mods and stuff like that. Oh, man! Big deaths from, uh, from the Brits there. A couple of them chopped down. We got more crossing the bridge. Let's uh, let's bring a couple more squads forward here. Try and uh, try and help help the attack forward. This is going to be a, a tricky hill to capture because they're really they're firing at a straight upward angle here. Uh, so we're going to need to start moving some men around trying to uh, get the flank going here. Of course, this little outpost is uh, defending from the flank. Ooh, and we got a snipe right there. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and of course, the second line of defense is coming into play right here, really helping to protect the flank as well. Um, this map, it, it wasn't, it doesn't just look really cool. It's also uh, pretty well thought out, you know, putting this little area right here to help protect the flank of this area. I think it's really neat. Um, wow, got some easy pickings here for the um, for the French. This guy actually looks, there's blood sports there. I wonder if he got shot and he actually lived. Let's, let's check his health out. Um, nope. Maybe, maybe that's not true. He's actually got a kill. Good chap. Um, only two guys in the, uh, in the main group up there have died. Um, Shall we fix bayonets upon reloading, boys? And charge them? Once you have finished reloading, charge them and uh, beat the crap out of them. Apparently, um, they are working on just a ton of ton of stuff for the mod. Um, ooh, that guy got killed right... Ooh, that guy too. Um, they're working just on a bunch of stuff for the mod. They're going to make... Um, bayonet charge is much easier to do. Oh my god, I love that. He beats that guy down and then proceeds to shoot that guy. 
sort of like a double tap from, um, from, oh, wow, did he get decapitated? Yes, he did. <laughs> oh my god. Oof, the gore. The gore. Um, this is brutal. Oh, and that guy does the final stand animation where he takes out an invisible pistol and tries to shoot twice. Um, I think the gore is actually from the, um, um, it's from, oh god, um, game name, uh, oh my god, uh, Battle of Empires, that's it. Oi, get out of there. Everyone's reloading, um, the French are of course surrounded here. Alright, ya bunch of French frogs. <laughs> Believe it or not, French frogs is considered a, um, an insult to the French, um, it was something, uh, people came up with as an insulting term. I had no idea until I took French. Um, it's just, it just sounds silly, honestly. Look at this. It's a little party going on over here. Um, they're like, they're facing each other. <laughs> it's getting real derpy here. <laughs> oh, just the accuracy. At least it's realistic. Um, I mean... <sighs> When you're at this proximity, I think you wouldn't miss. I think it'd be almost impossible to miss. Um, did these guys over here die? No, they're still alive. They're just hunkered down. Um, also, another problem is that bayonets are extremely difficult to uh, to use at the moment. Like this. <laughs> what? Oh my god, we just started like a chain reaction of firing. Sheesh. Oh, sheesh, y'all. Alright, we're finally starting to make advancements on the, um, on the flank of the hill. Actually, we're gonna keep you guys there to keep them preoccupied at the front, and, uh, we're gonna send some groups up to, uh, flank around here. Oh, that guy got taken down right as he started cresting the hill. Uh, musket fire going off at the, at the top of the hill. Um, couple men going down. Not many. <laughs> Got it, sir. Yeah, I don't honestly mind if the mods, like, you know, if battles take a little longer and stuff. I mean, playing Star Wars mod or just Rob's mod, it's all very, very fast-paced, and it's kind of nice to relax and enjoy the, uh, the like, beautiful uh, skins and textures of the mod, that kind of a thing. Um, plus, I think it's a really cool mod. Alright, we're gonna send our captain in here to beat some guys up. Go, my friend, go. Really? Did the flag bearer just take a shot? Yeah, the flag bearer lived. Um, through, uh, through taking a shot. And he's about to take his vengeance here. Um, he's gonna beat the crap out of some of these guys. Yeah! Get him! Is that it for you? Are you apparently done with that? Go pick up the, um... Pick up the gun and uh, oof, greatest flag bearer ever, pretty much. All right, well, um, the British have certainly taken some losses here, um, but I think they've withstanded pretty well. Um, the French, of course, doing quite well. Um, I mean, at this range, I really wish bayonets worked a little better so we could uh you know chop them down but oh well that's uh that's life i do love the sound of the muskets it sounds really phenomenal all right is this guy almost done reloading nope not even close this guy is fire for him oh no he gets taken down this guy's not even close this guy's done yeah fire Missed. Ugh. Alright, but we got more forces coming up here. Coming in to uh, end the assault on the hill here. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to dispatch some people over here to uh, try and take care of these guys over here who have been uh, just firing into our flank. Let's actually see if they got any kills. Um, neither of them actually ended up getting a kill, but that's alright. Um... These guys here, let's see if any of them got kills. Um, nope. 
But they have uh, just sort of been ducking in cover nowadays, um, rather than shooting, which is interesting. Um, all right, come on, let's just take the, the take the dang hill here. Um, we've got definitely enough men up here in order to take it. I think. Um, let's just get um, another group. Of men from the back over here. You know, I honestly don't think we're going to need extra men. Um, I think we'll just uh, do with what we have. I think it'll be okay. A okay. I think the um, attacking the last bit of fortifications may um, definitely be a challenge, but I think we're we're up to it. Um, these two guys over here are causing some trouble. Come on, guys. Really, you're just Hitting the freaking um, barrels. Oh my god, that guy got decapitated hard. But <laughs> that guy just exploded. <laughs> I'll just shoot him. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So, um, let's wait to progress on the right until we have finally, finally captured the left. Just get real close, guys. Just get real, real close here. Ooh, another decapitation. Just really blowing the heads off here. Oh, the inaccuracy, it's just, it's sometimes brutal, brutally realistic. Alright. But it is very satisfying when, when you do end up getting a kill, I think. Um, I think it adds to the satisfaction of that. Let's just get real close here and just pop! <laughs> oh, man. This could actually end up being a very long video. Alright. Final guy here. Uh, you're gonna go try and beat him up if you can. Nope. All right, that guy just shot him. Oh, he's going down. Ooh, and he's shaking. He's shaking. He's doing a little shimmy there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear out the right side over here before progressing further into sort of the more guerrilla warfare tactic-y area. Um, we've got two squads available. Uh, for the right side at the moment, and more can, of course, be called in if need be. Um, let's real quick just look at the... Uh, uh, no, well, we want to see the, the initial valleys here. Sort of in the trees, it's hard to see. We'll watch these guys, I guess. Oh! And the firing commences. The, uh, the brave standard bearer is hanging out in the open there. Let's try and get these guys a little closer and into the woods so they can um, uh, sort of, you know, utilize the cover a little bit better. Um, these guys over here have decided to pop up again, so we'll um, send a few guys down this way to uh, help to deal with them. Let's real quick look at the deaths right now. Uh, yellow is the... Um, one, one guy up here died. Um, yellow is the Brits, uh, red is the French. Um, I'd say it's about even right now, which is kind of interesting. Not too many people died down here, to be honest. Um, a couple, but um, the main action was, of course, up here. Um, let's see. Looks like a couple of uh, UK soldiers died here. One of those guys went down. How's it going over here? Um, oh, one second, guys. Hey, guys, sorry about that. We are back. Of course, it was only a split second for you guys because, you know... The magic of recording. Um, so the attack continues on the right side. This guy's actually good on ammo. Let's fire! Nope, complete miss. Um, the left side is very, very clumped together. We need to spread these guys out here. Um, pretty bad. Pretty bad. God, I'm terrible at British. Any kind of accent, I'm terrible at. Just, just the worst. Let's let this guy reload. Looks like the flag bearer on this side actually got shot down finally. Boom. Problem is these guys actually use like sort of the duck and cover method. See, he shoots, he crouches down, he reloads, and he pops back up. So there's only a split second for our British friends to try to um, try to kill him. All right. After this volley, which seems to be over now. We are going to 
order all of these guys to charge with uh, bayonets after they are finished reloading. Um, it's kind of annoying that you have to do this and um, wait until after they're done reloading, but hey, that's life I guess. Here we go. True bayonet charge going on here. Attack! Oh man, beautiful, beautifully executed. And we'll send in the, the rest of the forces to help with cleanup. In, forward, forward. You can hear the screams of dying men. Alright, officer. Show him your worst. Go, forward. Beat him up. Can you not beat him up? There we go. Bitch slap. Alright, cool. Let we'll those guys clean up over there. We'll go ahead and charge in with these guys here. Surely, get them to finally take out the last of these guys over here. Bam! Oh, annihilated. Um, let's bring um, our final reinforcements up here and really just sort of get everyone together here, all ready to fight the power of the French army. <laughs> Alright. Come on, boyos. Let's go. I know it sucks, you gotta go fight the French, but, you know, that's alright. Uh, these guys over here are actually having <laughs> a whole bunch of trouble here. This one pesky guy, ooh, and he took out another. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get our officer to just beat him up. Nice, good job. Good job, chat. Still got all these guys from this hill over here. Let's, uh, get them to spread out on this stone wall over here. They should all be reloaded, which is going to be nice, because we'll get a nice starting volley on um, the three guys over here. And we'll also go ahead and get these guys to start heading straight down the middle into the woods. And uh, we'll have these guys uh, come in on the right. Seems like a dandy little plan here. <laughs> all right. Shots being fired from the wall over here. The French retaliating with their own fire. We've just got tons and tons of British all over the place now. Moving together and uh, trying to get a leg up on the French here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, still a couple of French in the woods. Um... No one has really died on this wall. Um, over here we've got a couple French deaths. Actually, correction, just one. This is, of course, the final defense before the uh, <laughs> the stretch through no, man no man's land here, which is going to be hell for the British. <laughs> um, but the, uh, the British are trying their best to clear out some of these more guerrilla warfare tactics from the French in, uh, in the woods and stuff like that. Oh, that guy just got nailed. Bummer. Huge bummer there. Um, I'm trying to spot some of the French in the woods here. Um, oh, sorry. That was just muzzle fire. I don't think there are any back there. There's some back here, and then there's two in the woods here. Alright. Well, let's get our lads up here. Right, spot away. And uh, try and take out these two in the woods here, who are going to prove to be pesky, I bet. If we don't take care of them soon. Um, oh, it looks like the line all the way back here is actually um, in range to start firing on uh, these guys all the way back here. I think this guy, did he just get hit by one of the guys way back there? Because that's an impressive shot with the musket. Another guy goes down right there. Get right up against the wall. Actually, no. Stay where you are. That's want to avoid the massive line of all these guys way back here for as long as possible. Oh my god, one of these guys is actually dead. Must have, that had to have been just like a stray bullet um, from way up here or something like that. Because there's no way they're aiming at these guys right now. It's, it's, it's just no way. God, I just freaking hate the way I do accents. I just can't do it. Um, but I love trying. I love trying. Wow, these guys are failures. Wow. 
Wow. God. Someone please kill this man. Um, that sounds very harsh. Out of context. Alright, let's charge. Um, these few areas up here. So we can eventually get to the big shebang. Is this guy dead yet? No, he's not. Ah! Grr. Alright, ready? Boop! Exploded. He's gone. He's gone. It's over. It's gone. So it looks like these guys might actually be shooting at the, uh, the man all the way over here. Look, another one actually went down right there. Oh! My god, another one. I am very impressed. Um, maybe that's just like a, a good distance for the muskets. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious to see if more guys go down. Huh. That's actually very, very intriguing. Alright, let's go ahead. Get some guys up to the wall. Up to the wall! Go, go, go! Go! Oh god, the lag, the lag, one second. Alright, my friggin' uh, fraps did that thing where it just drops. It just. It just loses all of the FPSs. <laughs> Alright. So we're trying our best to advance over here. Trying, trying, trying. Um, let's get some of our officers to attempt to go club some of these guys down because we want to get to the uh, the main event here. We want to get to the... Um, we have a lot of officers. Um, we want to get to the point where we can start attacking the, uh, the huge defense over there. So we're having our officers sprint through here and crush these guys quickly. No! Whoa! Explosion. Okay. Um, that was the last guy there. Now, boys! Now is the time to attack! Forward! Through no man's land! Go! Go no man's land wasn't really a thing back then, but hey. Whatever. Everyone, out! Out! Go! 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 Oh my god, all the French are reloading. They're missing their opportunities. Oh god. Fire. There we go. Now they're starting to fire. Oh my god, mass killings here. Really, really good accuracy at that distance. Of course, a lot of French have already, um, you know, been deeply, deeply hurt by the, um, by the British here because there's a couple, couple dead French already. Um, which is kind of shocking. Uh, French having a whole lot of trouble killing some of these guys here. Um, and wow, the British are just just strolling on through here <laughs> for the most part. Oh my god. Oh god, and the British, they start opening fire. Oh, and the French retaliate, um, unleashing a hailstorm of bullets. Retreat, my Brits, retreat. Get back, get back. I was trying get these British folk forward here. Hi, me laddies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Alright, so the British uh, who made it all the way up there, we've retreated them backwards. It was too costly, and they're, uh, they're greater for the war effort if they're closer. The French just sending volley after volley forward. There's the British lines cutting down multiple men who are very, very grouped together here. Um, let's try and spread these guys out. Try and get them less grouped here. Come on, guys. Start moving. Start moving. Get out of the grouping. Get out of the grouping. We got some guys coming up on the right side, taking some shots at the French. Um, only one of the flag bearers is down for the French. Quite a few uh, brave French souls here. I'm trying to like get a nice photo here, but I keep sinking into the ground. It's just not going to happen, I guess. Oh well. Why can't I? I'm unable to move using WASDA anymore. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> 
Alright. Well, the, um... The British are making advancements, I guess. A couple, couple men dying from volleys of the French every once in a while. But, I mean, overall, they're... They're definitely making okay progress. Quite a few um, Frenchmen going down. More than I expected would go down, um, initially. But, I guess... They were kind of clumped together, the uh, the French that is. So I, mean, I guess there's that. Um, you know, bigger targets. Um, wow, FPS drop. God damn. Okay, there we go. Jeez, I hate it when that happens. I don't understand why it happens. Frickin' fraps. Frickin' fraps. All right, let's uh try and get some of these British blokes. Um, Come forward and uh, get closer to the uh, the front lines here and start trying to improve their accuracy of here. Of course, um, as they do come forward, um, the British um, will have greater accuracy against the French, but vice versa, the French will have far greater accuracy against the British. Occasionally, a British guy like this will sustain a hit from a, um, a French musket ball, and it's just... <laughs> It's like, god damn it. You had the luck to hit him, and it, you know, doesn't really pay off for you. Oh boy. Man, French French lines are, are definitely thinning, you can tell. The British are, are making their their mark here. Here goes another French bloke. There's another one who just recently passed. Let's say the uh, the British aren't taking losses too. That guy just lost his head. Um, let's see here. Those two officers are just chilling. Um, that guy just died. That guy over here. And the the British are definitely taking losses as well. Don't you worry about that. Of course, a lot of the guys way back here um, are dead British soldiers. Some some dead French from a previous line. Um, I'd say equal losses on either side, and it's just a matter of who can sustain their numbers, sustain their volleys, and uh, eliminate as many as possible. Man, uh, should we try like going in uh, in fast motion for a little bit here? Let's just try it out. Uh, it's kind of cool. A lot more action packed. That's for sure. Ah, but at the same time, it's kind of boring. It's less exciting. Like, uh, it, it just makes it look so stupid, kind of, if you go in fast motion. Alright, should we get a nice British, um, British charge here with the bayonets? How about this side? This side's sustaining a lot of losses. They could probably use a morale boost here. You go punch him. 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 And you go punch him. All of you guys should be standing up when you do this. I actually lost a few comrades as I was giving orders. Luckily, oh, that guy went down hard. Oh man, so did another. But uh, the other ones seem to follow orders quite well and were able to take out at least two guys. Um, one with the shot that they had saved and uh, one with the uh, the old bayonet. Alright, once you've finished that... Oh god, this... Ah, yeah, that guy went down. Oh god. Excellent. Bam! Man, this guy's a pro over here. Charge! Beat him up. Beat him up. We have an opening on the on the left side. Go, go, go. We're going to send some men over there. Try and uh, take advantage of this opening over here. As they uh, quickly cross over the, the deadly battlefield. Alright. This officer's mission is to kill the flag bearer. 
Alright, guys. Get behind some of those barricades over there. Get on over there. Oh, man! Whoa, a whole lot of death right there. A whole lot of death just happened. Fire! Oh, miss. <laughs> it's like 50% of the time when you fire. Whoop, miss. Alright. Let's get some of these officers up here. Try and take you down that flag bearer. Ooh, one sec, guys. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so, we actually have some strays way back here that we're going to be able to pull up for the British. This is really going to be coming down to the wire here, I think, um, in terms of who wins the battle. Because uh, the French, of course, they've I think they've got less men. They definitely do. Um, but, I mean, th they do have the, the sort of defensive position uh, still, and I'm not entirely sure if that's going to make all that much of a difference in this instance, but, I mean, the British still do have to sort of stay out in the open. Ooh, the flag bearer goes down pretty hard right there. Um, but the British are, of course, flanking on the left side. It looks like I think I, I brought in just the perfect amount of British um, troops uh, in the beginning of the battle. Boop. <laughs> um, and I think controlling them was the right move. I was thinking of maybe putting them on free move, but I think that would have made the, the battle very difficult um, to get going, kind of, and, uh, you know... It would have taken a lot longer for the uh, AI to sort of figure their their whole thing out. All right. I think. I mean, honestly, in real life, once you get to this distance, you pull out your bayonet and you start stabbing some peoples. Um, but I mean, the mod is just derpy, kind of. So, um, and also, these guys don't really fight back when you bayonet them, so I feel somewhat bad going in to try and bayonet. That guy just did like a flip underground. Ooh. Wow. -woo. Still some good fire going on. Sort of winding down here. Um, let's go ahead and make a play on the right side finally. The right side's probably the, the strongest side for the French um, by far. And, uh, the left side was definitely the weakest. Oh, God, the lag spike one. God damn, I hate it when that happens. Literally takes a split second to fix, but I keep on having to cut in the middle. Which is kind of annoying to you guys, I'm assuming. Alright, let's go get this flag bear. Tear down the French flag! Yeah! Wah! Oh, God. Dodging bullets while he reloads. Bam! Ha! -ha. You sucker. Alright. We got him. We got him. Go hide. Go hide. Halleck Robertson. That's th that's this guy's name. Fire! Noise. Jeej. Right, let's get forward. I wish there was an option, like, to have you guys sort of, like, raise, raise their hands and surrender kind of a thing, because that's totally what the French would do at this point. Oh, I thought that guy was going to use the final stand gun. And at this <laughs> that distance, I don't think he could really miss. It would be really interesting if he had done that. Um, I wonder if we've had any collateral damage in this. Because, I mean, we do have a lot of guys firing straight behind another guy. Um, it does tend to happen. Does it hurt them? Well, I missed, so couldn't really figure that out. Yes, um, <laughs> sir. All right, let's get some bayonet action going here. Get some over here. Some over here. Some over here. Some over here. All right, people are starting to charge forward to beat guys up with their bayonets. Let's get this officer out of here because he's not truly using a bayonet. All right. 
Looks like we're down to the last two French over here. And just one more, and this guy takes out both of them. This guy's actually got three kills in total. That's impressive for this mod. Um, and that was it. The British win. And I think they probably wouldn't have even come close, uh, this close to winning. Maybe they would win, actually. Um, but um, if I hadn't helped, I'm not sure. Um, definitely very cool mod, as always. Um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the battle, because this is very interesting. Red is the French deaths. Yellow is the uh, Napoleon's... Uh, or, <laughs> not Napoleon. What? Uh, yellow is the... British. Um, so the first death is right here, this poor chap. And long, long ago, um, we had the battle for this hill, um, which was, I think, you know what, it looks kind of even, but I almost want to say the British lost more men, but I think it's pretty much even. Um, over here, that was the small outpost. Um, we came through the forest here. Only one death, actually, over here. For the British, it looks like. I'm sure there was a couple more, because sometimes the bodies explode, and then they don't get shown in this. Um, over here in the woods, there wasn't really many British deaths until we get to this point, where um, it, it's sort of a slaughter all around uh, for both sides, I would say. Probably equal deaths for both sides, definitely. Um, no, no good for either side happened here. The British just outweighed them in terms of men um, and manpower. I think a big problem is, like, some... I know a bunch of British um, died... Where is it? Like, right behind this rock. And, of course, some French people did, too. Here, let's see. Yeah. You see, you can see all the guns. Um, but the bodies just exploded. So, I mean, that's a, that's a big thing. Like, here's uh, a couple hats. So people obviously died here. Um... Like, uh, I wonder if, no, it looks like really no one died for the British over here. Um, but I mean, you know, you can see that, uh, some, even though there's no carcass, there's definitely, like, deaths around here, um, from where people, uh, passed, even though they exploded, so there's no body. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, uh, to the developers, um, who have been helping me out, uh, specifically, um, I don't know his exact name here, wait, let me see, um, real quick here, I just want to shout him out, uh, let's see here, Danny, um, of the 7th Mountain Division, thank you so much, man, you've helped me out a lot, um, with the mod, uh, and you always keep me up to date. And I really appreciate that. So, just wanted to say a quick thank you to you. Um, you also gave me the mod, which was very, very kind. Um, I think it's a very cool mod. And, uh, yeah. Sweet. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Bye.